I'm so glad you joined us today. So we're continuing our study on the 12 disciples. Remember last week we learned Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, and Nathaniel. And so this week we're going to learn about a disciple named Matthew. Have you ever heard about Matthew? There's a book in the Bible, Matthew, right? Yeah, so that's where the story comes from today. It's Matthew 9. And the verse of scripture we read in Children's Church was, As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Matthew got up and followed him. So there was a man named Matthew, and he was a tax collector. And tax collectors was somebody that took money to help run things like the government and stuff like that. We have tax taxes today. I know when you go to the store, if we go to Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar, right? But can you go with a dollar and pay at Dollar Tree and walk out with your show? No, you have to pay like a dollar eight. You have to pay the taxes. So we have taxes to cover things like running the government and running the cities back in this Bible time and um, paying the people that, that do those jobs. And so Matthew was a tax collector. And so tax collectors weren't the most favored people back in, in Bible times because tax collectors... You would owe, let's say you owed, let's just say it in quarters because this is money that we use. So let's say you owed the government 75 cents, but back in Bible times, the tax collector would say that you owed the government a dollar, and they would take that extra quarter, because you know you only owe the government say that extra quarter, and put it in their pocket. So they would keep some extra, they weren't supposed to do that, and so a lot of people didn't like tax collectors. But Jesus came to this tax collector named Matthew, and he said those two words that we heard last week, follow me. And what did Matthew do? He immediately followed him. And he was so excited about following Jesus that he decided to have a big gathering in his home. Well, there were some people called the Pharisees. And Pharisees were Christian people. Um, they believed in God. And um, they had a problem with this. They said... Um, then this is really, you know, not very nice. But they saw this and they said, in my Bible, it says, Why does your teacher eat with such scum? Why does your teacher eat with all those sinners and tax collectors? Well, is that how we're supposed to do as Christians? No. You know what Jesus told him? This is really cool. Jesus said, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. What do you think he meant by that? Well, today I feel really, really good. Am I going to go this afternoon and get my throat swapped or strep throat? No, because I'm healthy. So I don't need a doctor because I'm healthy. Sick people do. And so he says, now go and learn the meaning of this scripture. And he says, I want to show you mercy. I want you to show mercy, not sacrifices. For I have come to call on those not who think they are righteous, but those who know that they are sinners. So Jesus came to this earth, and while he loved the Christian people, he didn't come to this earth for the Christian people, for the righteous. He came to the earth for sinners to bring them to God, to show them God. So this very week, I want you to go and find a sinner. And, you know, we all are around Christian people and righteous people a lot, and that's people that do really good and love God. And it's very good to associate with those people, but we were put on this earth to tell the sinners about Jesus, to tell the sinners that God created them and God loves them. So this week, I hope that you can find somebody that you can show that love, just like these tax collectors that Jesus ate with. They weren't the best people in the world, but they still needed to know the love of God, right? All right, I'm going to close in a word of prayer. God, you're so awesome. Thank you so much for this story of Matthew Help us to be like this that we, this week and not just to be cozy around those that already believe in you, but help us to find somebody that doesn't believe you and lead them to you, Lord. Help us to be a constant example every day of our, of our life. Be with those that are sick, Lord. We thank you for being so good to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm so glad you could join us. I hope maybe you can use the story of Matthew this week. And not only be a disciple in your walk, but show others about God every day. Go and find that sinner or that sick person figuratively that needs to hear about Jesus. Bye, guys.